morning and happy Monday and welcome back to another reaction video. This one is about Jazz. <sighs> I'm tired because I, I just got to doing a good cardio workout and I'm sweating up under here. I got my uh, waist trainer vest on and then I got this sauna, this sauna on and it's sweaty because I had I had a, had a <laughs> it's just hot. Everything can turn sideways and stuff. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm finna take a shower in a few minutes as soon as I get through with this reaction. But uh, what I want to talk about with Jazz is about the video. She says she got the keys. I'm happy, but there's a lot of people out here saying that they praying that it's not a scam because she came on here and said that Philip messed her credit up. She got real bad credit with that. That's why that problem right there is in her mom's name. And and then if you heard her, her this is her and Chris apartment because Chris signed that lease too. I'm like, I got damn. This man is on the damn lease. So he really gonna be controlling. And he paid uh his uh the two months up of uh, the, of the uh, I guess the uh, rent and stuff and she paid the other half I guess she paid the deposit or whatever, but I don't believe that because Chris don't have a damn job and y'all ding ass subscribers of hers, I know I want them too but I ain't no damn fool. Believe that y'all a doggone fool because y'all know Chris do not have a doggone job. He do not have a job. He's mooching off that girl, and she's struggling and paying for everything. So, but, uh, I don't believe it. And then she said the man, uh, she went and got the keys and stuff and she didn't get to see the house. How come you didn't get to see the house, Jazz? I don't understand it. Nobody understand it. Explain it to us why you didn't get to see the house and stuff. Because when you, when you get in your key before you even move in, because I would not want for one thing. I would not fill no application out online. I got to go to that place or the office and fill the application out. Because I'm not going to fill no application out online. And you just get this. Yeah, you see the pictures and stuff on there. But I want to see the inside of my dog on self. Yeah, because them kind of pictures could be in about this house. Because I done seen a lot of them. And I done fell for them and stuff. When I used to look for my own house and stuff. And you're going to get on here and start making making yourself look bad and feel bad so folks can feel sorry for you. Somebody, this is my first. I ain't never been in nothing like this. Just say you ain't got no dog. You, you've been in apartments all your life. And stuff. So, yeah, I grew up in apartments and everything. And I with my, with my first son, yeah, with my first two sons, yeah, I had an apartment. And then I got tired of them and I went and got a house. My first house, it was a Rudy Poot house, and the man told me he going to do this and he do that. I stayed there a year because there, <laughs> there was cockroaches, and he never did do what he said he was going to do. And I got tired of it. Every time my company come over or whatever, big-ass cockroaches on the walls and shit. I'm like, oh, hell no. Mm -mm. So I went and found another house and stuff. I went. I moved. I stayed there. I said a year, and my second house was right around the corner from my mom, and it was a big old gorgeous house and everything, but in that house, I did not know that crazy ass land was cuckoo as hell, but I stayed there a good while and stuff, and then when my sister moved, the lady started stalking me. She started stalking me, her and her big ass fat son and stuff. And all like that. And she did not want to fix nothing or nothing like that. So, I, me and Dana, we stayed there for, we stayed there for a good while. She fixed it the best way she could. Because we had, uh, we had two bathrooms. We had to go use, we had to, we had to go use the children's shower or uh, bathtub and stuff. Because Dale's was, uh, mine's, uh, mine's was, um, uh, mine's was, uh, 
when the drain wouldn't drain it out that much and stuff. She's like, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. It was a big old, big old gorgeous house. The kitchen was nice sized and everything. I had a living room, uh, living room. Uh, it was, the living room was big. It had a nice fireplace. And, stuff. and then I had the dining area. The backyard was kind of small and stuff. And the little laundry room about, <laughs> about like this. <laughs> Only thing I could fit in there was my washing machine and stuff. And the kids' room was nice size and everything. Then I had a big old walk-in closet. But what what I say, this is it and stuff. Because I done had some rooting pool houses. When I say this is it, it's when it started raining. The rain came through the chimney. It started raining and stuff. But when uh she said, because I know I, I saw Lala video. And Lala was trying to figure out that... She said on that video, she said that she going to move into a smaller apartment and stuff. And her place is already run out. Because with this house that I got now, uh, the man, the man, uh, the man, uh, people was already staying here. And he wanted them out and stuff. So, he had called me back and everything. Because I was looking in it all like that because I wanted something bigger and stuff because my kids was getting older and all like that and I needed more room. Yeah, the other place was big and stuff. Them, and I had a big old because the other house I had was about some sanctified folks and stuff. And all like that and stuff. But as my children got older, I wanted more room because I had a lot of furniture and stuff in there. But, like I said, when Lala asked, do anybody know, can they rent out while the person is still there? Yes, they can. Because, with, like I said, with this house I got now, the people, uh, the person, the, the woman and her boyfriend and her children was already still living here. And I came because he had asked me, did I still want the house? Did I want to tour the house? And he let me know that. People already still living here, but we, I can give you a tour of it. I told him, fine. So it was me and my two sons. And I found the house and everything. I found my way over here because my GPS kept on throwing me off. So I called him and he drug. I trailed him back over here. And I looked in the house and he let me know, like I said, he let me know that the woman and her kids are still here. She was so nasty. It's hell. Crown and Marcus was all on the carpet and stuff. I'm like, what the heck? I didn't say nothing. I, I looked at my kids and stuff. And I asked him, was it okay? Because I got two dogs and stuff. He like, yeah. And he showed me the kitchen. i like, oh, this is a nice kitchen and stuff. It was long and it was big. What I always wanted, a bigger kitchen and stuff. And then I had a nice, my, I, let me hear I had a nice big size pantry room and stuff where my two drives can go. It was big size. And then the living room was nice. And I love the ceiling and everything with the, with the ceiling fan. Then the bedroom, I told him I really don't want to come in the bedroom, especially her bedroom. Because I don't want to come in there because the way she was looking crazy at me. And she had fish tanks. She had about four or five tanks in this house. Some were fish in some places and lizards it was in the other ones, in the other tanks and stuff. And then in the boys, in my, in my son Justin room, crown marks everywhere over the walls and stuff. The uh, cause I had to, when I moved in and stuff, cause I paid the deposit. He said, how you like it? Then I went outside. That's when I saw the two patio decks and I liked it that. And it was a nice size backyard. Then I loved it cause it's quiet and number old people stay over here. So, I gave him the $500 for the deposit and everything. And I signed the lease right then and there. So, she had to move. I don't know if she had somewhere to live or not, but she moved on out. And they cleaned up and stuff. They had a lot of clean up and the people had to paint and repaint and stuff. because. And then when I did come in here, I had to, I had called uh, my rent man. And uh, I had to tell him that is they going to change my bathroom door because her boyfriend... And put a big old hole in the wall, in the door. So they had to give me a new door for my bathroom. But, but with Jazz, I don't know why she haven't seen that house and stuff. 
you're going to get some keys and you haven't seen that doggone house yet. That's that's crazy, boo -boo. That is really crazy. And I hope it's not a scam. I hope y'all remember with Liv and her house. And she going to she buying that house and it was a scam. She had to move. And then she paid that doggone money for this doggone house. And she had to turn around and move and stuff because it was a scam house. And I hope this house is not a scam. But let me get on to her Instagram video. Chris was so rude. He wasn't rude or nothing, but he was yeah, he put like this. Yes, he was rude. My my bad. Playing all that doggone music, all her subscribers and stuff. Like, what is that noise? They trying to figure out what the noise was. And she had like she was embarrassed because she was cleaning out the little buckets and stuff, saying I guess she was packing and stuff. And they were like, stop all that. Be still, relax, and let Chris do the doggone work and stuff. Because I saw a little taste of boxes. These people have not packed nothing, you guys. They, yesterday, when she did that video, they have not packed nothing. I had stuff still on wall, curtains still on, uh, hanging up. I mean, I, I like, God damn, while you sitting up there watching them bugs that y'all could be, you going to be telling Chris to pack these deck dumb boxes and stuff before they put your ass out. You said you're going to be moving soon, and the people kept on asking her. I was falling out laughing. Uh, let's see your stomach. And I don't know why she kind of uh hiding it and stuff. All I do is just show your stomach. People, I used to love showing my belly off. I pull the pants down, raise that top up, and I just rub it. Because what making people suspicious is because when you pregnant, you guys know the belly as you're growing, that belly gets hard. Her belly is not hard, but I Googled it and stuff. <laughs> yes, I Googled it to see... Well, her belly got a dent in it and uh and kind of lumpy. Uh it says some bellies are like that because I guess because they fat and stuff and everything. But she and like she's ashamed of that belly. She'll pull her clothes up and then rub her belly and show it to you and stuff. But that's how she did because everybody kept on asking her, uh, when is the due date? When is your next doctor's appointment? And can you show us the belly? She ignored every last one of those comments there. And folks, and then one girl said, do you hear what we asked you? And stuff. She ignored that. And they just kept on saying, can Chris smile or whatever? And one girl to my, ooh, Chris fine. She is where? Then they going to psych that man head up to my, ooh, he looking good. He losing weight. Where? I didn't see none of that. Y'all be lying and sacking these folks heads up. Stop doing that shit. Y'all are some kiss asses. Y'all kiss the shit out of them damn folks ass. You kiss ass people. <laughs> Just be honest. I, you, I guess if you be honest with her, she ain't gonna want to talk to you no more. And then one girl, they was arguing on there to my that's your friend. She said she ain't got the jazz, ain't got no friends. And then she kind of, then they're going to claim, they're going to trolls and stuff. And all like that. And then she said, we going to, uh, we, uh, the reactors, uh, going to get a kick out of this. And I guess she was trying to tell Chris to turn the music down or whatever. Because they got a curfew over there. And the, the noise got to be quiet, I guess, at 9 o'clock that night. And he like, shit, fuck that shit. I guess he said, fuck that shit. We going to party because <laughs> we finna get ready and go. He said, fuck them neighbors and stuff. He had that music loud, you guys. He didn't give a poop. And she act like she was embarrassed. She didn't, he didn't give a poop. That music was that doggone loud. Then he picking up Aiden and stuff, showing out in front of the doggone camera and everything. Boy, you ain't stunning that doggone baby. You are not stunning them damn kids. You are not stunning them children. Then people was telling her, because Aiden was begging for something. They told her, go feed the baby. Well, he not already ate. Boys eat 24-7. Kayla eats 24-7. You can give her one thing, and I'm in here eating, and she just got through eating. She going to come here and stare at me, and I'll be like, what, Kayla? She wants some of that. So I have to give it to her. Because I don't like no babies staring at me while I'm eating. It make me feel, it make me feel guilty. I, get, I feel guilty because I don't like eating in front of kids. I got to get them some, or I got to get up and go get them something to eat, because that's that's me. 
I don't see how some people can do that. Sit there and let a child stir at you while you eating and everything. But, yeah, she stayed on there for a good while. And then she finally showed her belly and Chris was just rubbing on. He just smiled. That's one happy-ass man right now. Because, I guess, because they moving into this house. She say, she say it's a four-bedroom. Kayla going to have her own room. And then she's my Maya. She begged to uh stay in the room with the twins. Maya ain't say no damn shit like that. <laughs> you putting Maya in that room with them twins. I feel sorry for that baby. And then her other uh, third, the third room, because you know the other one is the master bedroom. I'm thinking she gonna put the the baby, the newborn baby, in the room. Shit, this girl says she gonna make that out of her YouTube room. <laughs> she is trying her best to be like Liv and Chrissy now. Girl, you got more kids. You better put that baby or a Maya in that room and forget a dog on YouTube room. Child, please. You got too many dog on kids and stuff. So they asked her, uh, is she going to do a video of the home tour? She said, yes, yeah, she's going to do a video of the home tour when they get ready to move. So they asked her, when is you moving? She said, soon. They ain't asked you that, Jay. They asked you, what date is you moving on? And stuff to my, they said I can stay here a little longer and stuff and all like that. I'm like, boy, I don't know what jazz. I hope I just pray to God that these people are not these these people are not scamming her. I really hope so because I'm not thinking about her or Chris. I'm thinking about the children and I don't want them kids to be homeless and stuff. I really don't want them to be homeless because it's so many of them people out here saying that they got a funny feeling this is a scam because out of all the people she said 50 people now out of all 50 applications they picked out yours and you say you got some fucked up critic your critic that dog on bad that dog you've been looking in and, and you haven't got anything that's why you was going to a small apartment but I know you jazz, you like a lot of drama and you like you love to lie to get people to watch your videos. But I go on and watch them anyway <laughs> to see <laughs> what I can react on. <laughs> and this is my reaction before you ding ass people come on my damn channel. This is my opinion and my opinion only. If you don't like it, I do not care, boo boo. I do not care. I'm just going to delete your shit. I'm not going to argue with you because I'm not the arguing type. I'm just going to delete your comments and keep it moving. Because you don't have to watch my channel. Because <laughs> you, you can go back and tell Jazz what we saying. Because us reactors, we do not care. We do not care. I ain't got time to be arguing with you. And stuff. I'm a grown woman. And I ain't got time. I ain't never argue with nobody. And, I'm, and I walk away. And that's what you're supposed to do. Unless you push my button and talk about my mama. Then I'm going to come at your ass. Or my kids. But like I said, I just pray to God that this lady and her kids and little Bentley, I don't even know if they still got Bentley because I haven't seen Bentley in that doggone video. No videos. That's better if you have to ask about Bentley to show her because before she got pregnant, Bentley stayed on her. She always kept on kissing Bentley, Bentley and stuff. And I don't see how in the heck she kissed Chris because Chris be kissing, kissing Bentley in the mouth. And stuff. I'm not finna kiss no dog on man. They've been kissing a dog on dog. Yes, I got dogs, but they've been not kissing on me because I'm gonna pluck them, I pop their ass. We can play, but when it's time you think you finna kiss me, heck no. Nah. Mm -mm. I'm gonna thump your little butt. But yeah, but I ain't got too much to talk about with Jazz because <laughs> uh, Jazz is a mess. And I pray to God that I'm trying. I was trying to figure out. She she still don't know. They asked all oh, y'all yeah, forgot to ask say. They they asked her about uh when is her next appointment to the clinic. She didn't answer that. Jazz, do you that's why people are suspicious of you. And then with that 17 weeks pregnancy, that's an old video. That looked like an old video. And stuff because on that video, if y'all notice, and I because I be noticing stuff, on that video, her face was fat. And stuff. But now her face is back small. Like mine's. And yours. 
her face is back little and everything. But like I say, I hope Jazz not scamming us with no baby. But it looked like she pregnant and it, then it don't look like she pregnant because the way her stomach is. And then she constantly hiding and then she don't know the dates. And, well, she's not telling nobody the dates and stuff. Tonight, she gonna stop at the blog in five days a week and stuff. And and she said that she gonna just gonna keep up with everything. I'm like, Jazz, you done told us that you gonna blog every dog on day, but you be so tired. You come up with the tiredness and stuff. I know pregnancy is tiring. But with me, when I was pregnant, <laughs> The doctor had to make me stop walking and exercise and stuff because I did the uh, I did the little belly dance. I used to try to uh do kind of little workout. I used to because I didn't have no man and stuff. Cause the children's sperm sperm don't kept on going back and forth with me and somebody else. But I was I was stupid at that time. I'm not stupid anymore. But like I said, I love to showing off my belly and stuff. And I used to walk around the house. <laughs> in my underwear with my belly out because I was hot and everything because the baby used to sit there on my lungs and stuff. But with your belly and stuff, and with the, when I Googled it and everything, everybody's belly was hot. Your belly looked like it's soft and stuff. I pulled a one month pregnancy, two months pregnancy, three months pregnant. Them bellies were still looking the same. They everybody better look like they was hard. And you supposed to be about what three or four months? And you supposed to be having a baby in December. So you about three or four months pregnant. And it don't look it don't I wanna say I don't know. That's what I'm at. I don't know. But when you look at your stomach, cause what was that? On your 17 week pregnancy, you showed your belly. And it was hanging, it was loop, it was lumpy, it was sagging. It sagged just like my belly sags now and stuff. And you pulled your pants over it, and then that's when you showed it and stuff. You pulled your pants up and you showed the belly. Just keep your pants down and just show us the belly and stuff. I know it's not none of our business, but you put all of your business out there. And then your subs get mad because we ask questions and we want to know. Because if you don't put it out there, we wouldn't know what to ask you. And we wouldn't know it and stuff. So stop throwing your dog on business out there in the dog on street. Because you want folks to know. You want folks to react on your videos. You want folks to talk about you so you can come back on the press, on tired of the trolls, and all of that. Blah, 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 blah. So... Keep some of your keep some of your business to yourself. Everything you do, you gotta throw it out here. We don't need to know everything, boo boo. We really don't, because what goes on in your house is your business. But once you put it out there, yeah, we gonna react on it. We gonna talk about it. We gonna wanna know questions and every dog on thing, who, what, when, where, and how. But. That's all I got to say, you guys. So, I hope you have a blessed and happy Monday. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.